Welcome back. It's time to learn how to paint birds and snow. So in this class we're going to paint a cardinal on a branch and he's being snowed on. So we're going to have a nice loose background with lots going on and I'm going to teach you how to keep your foreground elements vibrant and colorful with strong contrast and high detail. Let's get to it. This is going to be a three-part process. First, we'll use a water masking technique to paint the background. Then, let that dry, come back, and we'll do a first pass on the bird. Then we'll come back and finish up with some details and bring out the snow again if we have to. So let's go ahead and get started with that water masking. Now, water masking is painting around an object that you want to keep clean. So in this case, I don't want to get any paint on my bird, so I'm going to use my large flat and I'm going to paint all the way around his feathers, his feet, his beak, and then in the background, I'm just going to go in with a lot of water. And you have to work quickly because I want to finish this process before this area that I started dries. The whole point of the water masking system is that you can paint wet on wet, but also maintain some control. Now you'll notice there are some spots here where I have used masking fluid to preserve some areas that I know I want kept white, like snowflakes on the bird, highlights on the branches, etc. When that's done, you're going to start going into the background with some different shades of gray, keeping your reference close by so that you can see how those darks and lights play out on the page. So I have some corners, like up here, where the color is quite dark. And then I have different areas, like down here, where the color is a lot lighter. So I have grays, pinks, yellows, and browns on my palette. And as I work here, I'm just going from one color to the other and letting those all mix together on the page. I'm also getting some purples and see how I work really quickly back here just kind of flooding the area with color and letting it do its thing. I'm not taking a lot of time color matching, I'm not picking at it because I want to get it down quickly enough that I don't have any distinguishing lines. And take your time around the bird itself so that those lines stay nice and distinct. And then I'm going to rinse out my brush and these areas that are supposed to be lighter, I'm just filling in with clean water. So I'm not adding any more paint to the page in these spots. And then I'm going to go in and add some darks to the corners, places like this. I'll shoot in a little bit more brown, some other things going on. And then you can give it a spray with your water bottle to get a dappled, interesting look like this. That's also going to lend itself well to it looking like snow. Rinse out your brush, and there are some spots where there's a really light, just kind of an impression of a branch, like right behind the bird right here. It's very soft etched. Now is the time to pull that out. So I'm just going to use my flat brush. The paper is still damp, the brush is slightly damp, so I can just slice through and get that exact ghosty edged form that I want. Make it a little bit bigger than you think you want it because it's going to close up as the color floods back into the sides. And if there are other areas like that, pull those out too. So you work in layers like this. And part of watercolor painting is doing the planning of those layers. What are you going to paint first? What are you going to paint second? What needs to go on top of what? So this is a good t place to stop this first layer. I've got enough going on. It looks a little interesting. And then we will build up the tree branches on top of that once it's dry. And of course the bird on top of that as well. This is dry, so we're ready for stage two here. I'm going to remove the masking fluid from the trees only because now we're going to be working in the trees. Keep the snow that you masked on the bird. And then we need to add some body to the trees, some base tone here. So let's just mix up a nice base tone gray 